To perform this experiment, we first need to prepare the hydrogen gas. To do this, first take the Erlenmeyer flask or round bottom flask, introduce about 50 to 100 ml of dilute hydrochloric acid or dilute sulfuric acid into the flask. Meanwhile, take the rubber cork with one hole and introduce the delivery tube into the hole like so. Allow about 5 cm length of the tube to protrude from each end of the hole. Moisten the rubber cork with water for an airtight seal. Next, introduce a few pieces of zinc granules into the flask containing the acid and quickly cover the mouth tightly with the rubber cork. Allow a minute or so for the reaction to commence in the flask. After 30 seconds to a minute, hold the gas jar in the inverted position over the end of the tube in such a way that a few centimeters of the tube goes into the mouth of the gas jar. Collect the hydrogen gas in the inverted gas jar for about 1 to 2 minutes by which time the jar would have been fully filled with the hydrogen gas. Now cover the mouth of the gas jar with a glass lid while still holding the jar inverted. Remove the reaction flask away at a safe distance. Next, light a matchstick or splinter. Remove the glass lid from the gas jar and introduce the burning splinter at the mouth of the gas jar. Record your observation. When a burning splinter is introduced near the mouth of the gas jar filled with hydrogen gas, the gas immediately ignites explosively with a characteristic pop sound. Once the gas inside the jar had completely burned, you can see a hazy layer of condensation forming on the inner walls of the jar. Hydrogen gas reacts with oxygen present in atmospheric air to produce water. Just as in the burning of magnesium ribbon, this reaction also requires an external energy input in the form of heat, in this case the burning splinter, for the reaction to commence. The chemical reaction involved can be represented by the equation shown here. The condensate formed on the inner walls of the gas jar is nothing but tiny droplets of water formed as a result of the combination reaction between the two gases. This reaction is also an example of a combination reaction because a single product is formed, in this case, water.